What's up, fight fans? We are back once again with the In The Ring Boxing.com podcast show. Thanks for tuning in. We have a great show for you today. On the line with us right now is junior middleweight contender, Power Wolak. He fought a couple weeks ago in the ESPN Friday Night Fights main event against former world title challenger, Delvin Rodriguez. The fight was nothing less than a war. It was called a draw when the scorecards were announced. But Power, first of all, thanks for coming on the show and congratulations. I'm putting on a highly entertaining fight for the fans. Oh, not a problem. Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, the true hardcore fans of the sport already knew this was going to be a great fight. You're a come-forward yeah. type of fighter. You throw a lot of punches. You know, you walk through fire so that you can get into position to do what you do. And Delvin is a boxer puncher who can punch, and he has a lot of heart, a lot of heart as well. Did the fight play right. out? Did it, did it play out the way you thought it would? And, and what did you think about the decision? Uh, pretty much. Uh, the only thing I didn't plan for was the eye swelling so bad. Um, I thought I had it. I thought I, I pulled it out by uh, maybe one or one or two rounds. Um, but it's it's been good. I gotta say, I've been getting a lot of compliments about the fight. You know, people uh, like the fight. People are entertained, which is the most important thing for me. So yeah, it was a great outcome. Yeah, and at the very least, compliments is what you should be getting. It, it was, you know, incredible to see you just continue to fight the way you did with your eyes swelling up the way it did. But how is the eye, first of all? And second, were you concerned about the doctor or the ref stopping the fight? Uh, the, eye, the eye is fine. The eye, right now, it's, you can't even, it's not falling anymore. I got a little bit of a mouth on the edge, just a little bit left. Uh, but it's good. The vision's, vision's fine. Uh, no broken bones. Um, so it was you know, um, I did the fight the, during the fight. I had a problem. I definitely started like seventh round. It really started swelling around seventh, seventh round. I really had a problem seeing. Um, and I was concerned. And that was probably the biggest thing uh, towards the end for me. Um, it started swelling as the fight went on, but then around seventh, it really started. It, it just it blew up. That was the biggest concern for me. I did not want the referee to, to stop the fight. I'm glad, very glad they did, they did not stop the fight. Because I was, I was not hurt. Uh, Maybe if I took a, a few punches here and there, it didn't, didn't bother me. So it, it, it's good that the fight was uh, uh, that to the very end. Awesome. Great great to hear that it was just swelling. Uh, Power, you both stated in the post-fight interview that you guys would be willing to do the rematch. And I'm sure that's something that every boxing fan would love to see. Yeah. How likely is it that that's going to happen? I, I think it's pretty, it's pretty likely. Uh, I've, I've, uh, the only thing I'm waiting on uh, my promoters and then uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I haven't really had any concrete talks, uh, but they're, they're definitely open to it, so uh, we'll see what happens. All right. If the fight does happen, what would you do differently, if anything? Um, do differently. One thing that I would change, um, I, I would change my... The way I prepare for the fight, I would do maybe a little bit of a, of a longer camp. Um... You know, the sparring, sparring partners, the same as partner, 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 but a little bit more rest. Uh, I got, I just kind of got like, cut um, about three weeks out, and we kind of crammed everything into two weeks because uh, I wasn't sparring enough, and it was a shorter camp. So that, that's number one. I would change things in, in my preparation. And uh, small things uh, in the fight, I would not stand in front of him so much. I would definitely try to do him angles more. I wouldn't let him, I wouldn't let him counter punch. Okay. You know, I'd like to get your take on, on the junior middleweight division, you know, especially the champions. You know, Miguel Cotto, Saul Alvarez, you got Cornelius Bundridge, and you got Austin Trout out there. Yep. Uh, what do you think of these fighters? And, you know, and if you had your choice, who would you like to fight? I'll, I'll be first. Well, I mean, everybody's tough in, in their own ways. Everybody does uh, uh, good things, uh, you know, different styles. Uh, but they're world champions. They're definitely tough guys. Um, I would probably like to maybe fight first hundreds and then uh, I'd probably like, like go down the line maybe uh, Canelo and finally end up with Miguel Cotto um, but yeah, the division is definitely open I think uh, whoever prepares the best whoever has the best, uh, a better day a uh, better uh, training uh, better pre preparation for the fight it can definitely 
walk away and, and win. Um, yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm very excited. Definitely the junior middleweight is just an open weight class. Everybody's evenly matched. And uh, I think there's going to be plenty of good fights coming up. Okay, man, you're, you're 29 and 1 now. And of course, this yeah. last fight was a draw. The only loss in your career, Powell, was to Ishe Smith back in 2008. And I know you, your gears are set for you know either a rematch with Rodriguez or a title shot. No, but is that a fight that you'll be interested in? You know, trying to avenge that loss. Uh, for Ishii Smith. Yeah. Um. Well, personally, yeah. But I mean, I don't think he would do anything for, for my career. Uh, I mean, Ishii Smith hasn't been hasn't been really around. He's had some uh, losses in in in, uh, in the past, uh, in the immediate past, really. Um. I just think that they'll think. Yeah. I mean, look, personally, I would like to beat him because he did beat me. Uh, but I don't think it would do much for my career, so I don't think that that's, that's ever going to happen. Okay. So business-wise, no. Per, on a personal yeah. level, yes. All right. There you go. There you go, yeah. All right, so, Powell, can we give the fans who don't already know a chance to hear straight from you? How did you get started in boxing? Uh, basically, uh, well, uh, I was wrestling first. It was high uh, school wrestling, and then uh, after that, started kickboxing about about five kickboxing fights I was really going to get ready for uh, going to this martial arts and then just fell into boxing you know I was just trying to get, get my hands better and better I realized that striking is very important in MMA and then I started boxing more and more started in, uh, entering some uh, amateur uh, competitions even even though I entered that I'm, I'm very I mean I have a, had a very small amateur career I, I was, I'm not uh, you know I wasn't in, in, in you know, I, I used to spar a lot put it that way a lot of sparring but I was never really competing that, that much and then just I uh, went over to New York. I was going to the gym, the gym, and I started uh, talking to managers, talking to people, and then finally started started getting uh, some some being pro fighting. And then it started going good, and I just kept coming, kept going, and then it's going really good now. So I just keep just thinking what I'm doing. All right, and it's kind of interesting to hear that you know you you, you kind of dipped into that, started off a little bit with the on, with the MMA. Is there even a yeah. do you ever consider even a slight chance of even attempting to do that? Well, I still think it's that I still roll about uh, twice a week. I actually use it one of my as my cross training. Uh, I, I still go to the gym. I have a couple of friends that I that, that are you know that are into uh, wrestling. Here too, I still roll to even to this day. Um, so yeah, I mean that's definitely part of that's definitely on, on my mind. But you know, first first and foremost, I have to accomplish as much as I can in, in what I'm doing now in, in boxing, and then uh, after that, we'll see. Absolutely, yes, sir. So, Paolo, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans in closing? Well, uh, I just want to thank everybody for the great support. I've been getting unbelievable support. Thank you. I'm happy that guys like the fight. And then I'll uh, and then, uh, just keep, please keep watching, and uh, thank you. Okay, fight fans, that was junior middleweight contender Powell Wolak. If you haven't seen the fight yet and you would like to, go to ESPN3.com or YouTube and, and see these two fighters go to war. That's it for today's show. My name is Carlos Cruz from InTheRingBoxing.com telling you to stay cool and educate yourself. Peace.